Hello guys, how's it going? This is Safan Aviation here and welcome back to another video. This time a trip report from Doha to LA on board Qatar Airways on their E350-1000. Here I am in Hamad International Airport in Doha, Qatar. Let's get started. So I'm really excited to try out Qatar Airways super long haul product on their A315 economy class. This is my first ever about 16 hour flight. I'm really excited and one thing that I noticed was some services in the airport were not operational such as the train. Um, I think due to COVID but there was no explanation given anywhere. Also, Doha's airport is one of my most favorite airports in the world due to its amazing architecture, lighting and just ease of accessibility everywhere in the airport. And here is our gate C12 from which we will board the A350 that's going to take us to LA. Here is the boarding lounge as you can see it seems like it's going to be a very full flight and here is the A350 that's going to be taking us to LA. And here is my view from seat 28A. As you can see, we have very sufficient leg room on this seat. I can easily stretch out my legs in all directions. You have a universal power outlet as well as a NFC card reader for payments that you may want to do with a credit card. The tray table on the plane can be opened into two positions, the smaller one for snacks and drinks and the bigger one for the whole meals. You can pull it towards yourself so that you're more comfortable while eating. There's also a safety card of the aircraft provided and I advise you to read the safety card once during a flight. God forbid there's an emergency, it may come in handy. An amenity kit and a travel conference kit which is basically a COVID kit was also provided but more on that later. Soon it was time for a pushback and engine start. Now just turn up your volume and hear this beast come to life. Come and join me. When instructed by the crew, remove it from its container and pull it over your head. Bring the tape around your waist and fasten it front, pulling firmly to secure. Only inflate your life jacket after leaving the aircraft by pulling the two red toggles sharply downwards. Now don't hold to it! You can also inflate or top up the life jacket by blowing into the mouthpiece. The life jacket has a whistle to attract attention and a light that will automatically illuminate it when in water. Infant life jackets will be distributed by cabin crew. Rob, you better run the phone while I get this lot sorted out. To help with final preparations for takeoff, please ensure your seat is in the fully upright position. Your window blind is up, your tray table is folded up, and your seatbelt is fastened. Ah, oh, is that everything, Rob? Thank you. Didn't mention the Q3 door coach. Actually, Rob, I felt it deserved its own moment and its own star. Mr. Neymar, if you could just pick up that below the camera. No, the other thing. Take it away.
So approximately 30 minutes after takeoff and climbing to our cruising altitude, we were served our first meal, which was a brand service, in which we got some fruit, some yogurt, a hot meal, which was rice and a chicken curry, as well as a small water bottle, some apple juice, metal cutlery, which is very important in economy, as well as a dinner roll. The meal was really nice, I really enjoyed it, especially with the view which is amazing and the A350 wing as elegant as it gets. The cabin was then dimmed and we got a small Kit Kat as a snack. Now moving on to the IFE review, the IFE for Qatar Airways is known as Oryx One which has a lot of entertainment options. Especially on the A350 the screen is absolutely phenomenal, very very touch sensitive so you get reactions from the, scene, uh, from the screen. As well as a vast selection of movies, TV shows, everything you would want to watch. You'll find it here. Some of the best movies are here. And there's just a multitude of options available in many languages. Arabic, Bollywood, Hollywood. What everything for everybody basically. There's also a huge music selection, so in case you don't want to watch something, you want to listen to some music while looking out the window, enjoying and enjoying and taking in all the views, you could also do that. There's also a whole kids section which has movies, TV shows and audio and games for kids so that the little ones can also enjoy the flight. And one of my favorite parts on any IFE is of course the my flight option and the flight map. You can see this one is 3D maps by Geofusion and it's actually very good. You can see where your aircraft is uh, on the map, how much distance there is to your destination and uh, you can also see where Makkah is and Makkah is uh, as you may know a very holy, the holiest place in Islam so it shows you the distance to Makkah as well if you select that option as you can see we're flying over Europe right now exiting Europe onto the Atlantic Ocean and we're soon gonna be over Greenland and then we're gonna continue on to LA And here come the absolutely phenomenal camera views on the A350. There's three cameras available. One is the tail camera, then there's a bottom camera which shows you the ground. So even if you don't have a window seat, you could enjoy all the views, take all the views in. toilet as expected is very clean it has good lighting it's a very modern sort of toilet as well as it's bigger than usual airplane toilets as i've mentioned in many videos before this the mood lighting on Qatar's a350s is just stunning
before departure we were also provided a amenity kit as well as an uh, a travel confidence kit which was basically sort of a covid kit which had a mask some tissues and hand sanitizer the amenity kit came with some socks which were pretty soft as well as a face mask or eye mask to help you sleep in case you can't sleep with lights on and we had some earplugs some lip balm so that you stay moisturized as well as a toothbrush and toothpaste Soon after we entered US airspace, we were served with our second meal, which consisted of eggs, some beef, a salad, a dessert, and of course, a dinner roll with some metal cutlery, which is extremely important in the economy, water bottle, and a Coke. The dessert especially was absolutely amazing. It was really soft. It may not look like that, but it was really nice. It was sort of like a chocolate mousse. And now I'm done with the meal and watching some Simpsons. Once again, with a splendid view.
that you will include Qatar Airways in your future travel plans. To book your next flight, please visit QatarAirways.com. On behalf of Qatar Airways, the One World Alliance, our code share partners, Sri Lankan Airlines, Oman Air, and Malaysian Airlines, and Captain Airson, we wish you a pleasant stay in Los Angeles or a safe journey to your final destination. Qatar Airways, going places together. Thank you and good afternoon. Now on to the main question, so what is the verdict? Now there's a long answer and there's a short answer. The short answer being, it was an awesome flight. The long answer being, it was an awesome flight. How? I'll tell you. You see, right from the check-in process, you start to experience what Qatar Airways is all about. It's about providing luxury even when you're in economy. Their staff is extremely well trained. They cater to your every need. Uh, the meal services are really nice, the meals taste good, unlike some airlines. Um, it's a very proper, very refined experience, I would say. And Emirates, yes, they sure do compare to this. But I, I always think, uh, and I've flown these airlines multiple times, so in my opinion, Qatar Airways just, you know, provides that extra bit of, you know, oomph, basically. And that really uh, enhances your experience flying on them. So yes, I would recommend anybody who's either transiting or traveling anywhere in the world, if you do get a chance, fly on Qatar Airways. This 16 hours, these 16 hours passed by really quickly and I really enjoyed my experience. As always, a huge thanks to everybody who tuned in and watched this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. We're very close to a thousand subscribers, so let's get there soon. Once again, thank you for watching and goodbye.